Motherwell were badly hit by injury and suspension and their makeshift defence was made to pay in just four minutes. United's Charlie Miller worked a lovely one-two with Jim Hamilton and coolly slotted it past Andy Gorham. It was a neat layoff from Hamilton and Miller polished the job off. United looked dangerous every time they mounted an attack and they doubled their lead at seven minutes before half-time. Derek Lilly easily shook off Stevie Hamill and rolled the ball to Craig Easton, who had a simple tap-in. Again, the Motherwell defence all over the place, Lilly's cut back and Easton made sure his side were in tomorrow's fifth-round draw. So Dundee United going to the draw for the next round. Jim, that's a, that's a good win for Dundee United, perhaps an unexpected win considering the, the league form just now. Well, I'm not so sure, Dougie, because Motherwell have been struggling a wee bit. Um, there have been signs recently that Dundee United have been coming onto the game. We saw that there. Um, Charlie Miller looking good as well there, and that scoring the first goal. But Motherwell also selling Jeb Brannan to Wigan on the eve of the cup tie. You know, you wonder about that. I know that Motherwell, £3 million loss, they need the money. But, you know, that's them out of the cup now, where yeah. they, maybe Jeb Brannan's been defending well for them. They go and play Dundee United without him, and they lose and they're out of the cup. Murder, the future for Motherwell is not particularly bright because they clearly are going to start selling players. They're going to get rid of the players they're spending a lot of money on, try and cut back on the wage bill. I mean, they're not going to improve as a side necessarily in the short term if they keep doing that. But what, what's, the, what's the options for John Boyle? Well, they've maybe got to go and stick money in again because I think they've got, got to be very careful. There's no way you can bring in Andy Gorham's, John Spencer, Brannan, big name players to come in pay them a lot of money, then after when you see you're losing money, you start getting rid of them, because what's going to happen, the whole thing's going to go flat, they've lost a few important league games, and now they're out of the cup. Absolutely, Jim. Well, of course, Spencer's going as well, isn't he? I mean, he's going yeah. to play football in America. Yeah. You know, there's something sadly wrong when people are leaving at the SPL, which is our top division, when they're still useful and good players to go and play in America. Absolutely.